So um, once again, good afternoon sa inyong dalawa, Ruel and April. So for this session, where our topic is all about um, sweet pepper production. No, and last time we talk about um, snap bean production. And this is the second to the last topic in our midterm, but um, hopefully you have submitted already if you're, you're with your midterm module. If not, um, please submit you know, um, one of these days or sooner the better. And the last topic we're going to have is uh, lesson 11, which is tomato. So for, for uh, this afternoon, um, sweet pepper or capsicum anon, scientifically, is also known as capsicum or campana or lara. And it is the most widely used condiment all over the world. It, is, it can be consumed fresh, no? sa ating mga pizzas, fre uh, dried then in powder or processed form. So we also have different types of variants and of colors. We have green, yellow, orange, violet, and even brown. And in the Philippines, it covers, the production covers 2,400 plus hectares, in, um, including the other sweet pepper types, where the top producers are the Cordillera Administrative Region, which uh, with 600 hectares, Region 10 with 400 hectares, and Region 1 with 200 plus hectares, and Region 7 with 200 also. So this is according to the statistics of 2005. So all pizza parlors, no, lahat, wala, uh, lahat meron talaga yung pepper. No? Um, this re uh, require regular supply in big volume and are one of the most main or lucrative markets in sweet pepper production. That's why high value talaga ang sweet pepper. No, mahal siya if... Um, in the supermarket or in the market. So there are also other processors requiring, requiring bigger volumes, but uh, lower prices. So aside from that, um, sweet pepper is not only a very favorite um, spice, but also very high in nutrition. We have uh, for every 100 grams edible portion, it contains 92 grams water, 1.2 grams protein, and uh, 0.35 fat grams, and 0.60 iron, 5.4 carbohydrates, and uh, 9 milligrams calcium. And it also high in vitamin A, vitamin C, and with 109 energy value. So the different varieties that we have here are the following we have blessed california wonder we have haifa wonder improved smooth cayenne king solomon maxi bell redondo sweet plastic tosca and yolo wonder so those are the common varieties that we have and um it the sweet pepper requires cool weather for best fruit quality so it's actually um a very uh temperate crop or cool season crop. However, it can also be grown in low elevation areas. Um, starting on, uh, we should start planting on the second week of October to the first week of November, actually on this month. No? And in mid and high elevations, the month, it can be grown any time of the year throughout the year since it's, 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 cool, it's cool or it's um, um, cooler anytime and um for sweet potato naman at uh, sweet pepper naman it grows best in sandy loam soil with a pH of um 5.5 to 6.5 so medyo ano siya no, acidic and it cannot tolerate water lag condition so it's very important na um to maintain drainage kasi um it's very prone to water lagging and also um, diseases like um, yung ano yung um, rat no yung seedling rat no and for the for the production ng seedling 
for every hectare, we only need 100 to 200 grams of seeds. So you have to prepare uh, five seed beds measuring one by 10 meter each, pulverize and the soil and incorporate one gram fully decomposed chicken manure and 300 grams carbonized rice hull per square meter if available. And you have to wet the seed beds and make shallow lines like seven to 10 centimeter apart across the seed beds. And at the same time, you soak the seeds overnight para mahasin the germination and uh, air dry. And afterwards, you sow them thinly no? and cover lightly with soil and mulch with rice hull or chopped rice straw. And for hybrid seeds, the man, you can prick this one in the nursery trays uh, during its new two leaf stage and provide partial shade. And also during wet season, you can provide plastic roofing or protect the seedling from heavy rain. And um, special, and most importantly, you have to harden the seedlings uh, one week before transplanting uh, by exposing them fully to sunlight and watering only when the plants already have temporary wilted. Because that's um, preparing them for the field transplanting. Okay. Um, before we proceed, I will just check our uh, screenshot. Okay, so uh, moving on for the land preparation. Again, you have to plow and harrow twice the area. And for pag mag double row planting ka, you have to make beds like 1 meter wide and 0.75 meter apart. And then you make four rows 0.75 meter apart for single row planting. And again, incorporate one kilogram fully decomposed chicken manure and 300 grams carbonized rice half per square meter. And also you dig holes with a distance of 0.4 by 0.4 meter for double row planting and also for single row planting. So the time that you're going to do your transplanting, you have to wet the soil before transplanting, both from the seedling stock and also to the field, no? And apply 10 grams per hill of complete fertilizer. And you only apply, you only plant uh, one seedling, one seedling per hill and, um, mulch with rice straw. If mulching film will be used, apply after bed preparation. And if possible, you transplant in the afternoon para hindi masyadong mainit, avoid wilting, and you replant missing hills at once. So para sabay-sabay sila lahat maglaki. And of course, you have to irrigate weekly or depending on the soil moisture or prevailing weather condition. Siyempre, pag umuulan, you, you don't need to water or irrigate. And um, apply 10 grams per hill of complete fertilizer during planting. And then after two weeks or every two weeks, mag side dress with urea at 5 to 10 grams per hill, depending sa plant growth. And during flowering stage na, mag mix ka ng 1 is to 1 uh, urea and potassium at 10 grams per hill. And you can also apply tea manure and fermented plant juice as supplementary fertilizer during sa vegetative stage niya, no? And fermented fruit juice naman during sa fruit stage. So, um, we have discussed this already, how to prepare tea manure and fermented plant juice. So, we have um, next. Pest and disease management ng um, bell pepper. Sorry for that. Um, yeah. Okay, for the pest and management disease naman, um, the major pests of sweet pepper are the aphids, spider mites, and fruit flies. So, to minimize pest incidents, intercrop with the herbs, alliums, ginger, lemongrass, and other aromatic plants para, uh, ma, ma, para masupress sila. No? Or you can spray recommended pesticide 
or use fruit fly attractant, yung mga pheromones, and wrap the fruits with net bags or even um, um, paper or grow inside screen houses. So magkikita nyo mamaya um, the, the one that is grown in the screen house. And grow flowering plants like cosmos, sunflower, in the borders para maka-attract maka beneficial insects and predators to, to, the, ano, to the pests. And while the major diseases include bacterial wilt, leaf spot, and anthracnose. So para ma-control or avoid bacterial wilt, you plant after irrigated rice or plant in areas not um, previously grown, nasolinaceous grass, for example, yung um, tomato and um, talong, no? those are solinaceous crops. So do not uh, plant them after those crops. And to control nematodes, you intercrop with marigold and grow corn in rotation kasi it can repel or stop the nematodes infestation. And to control leaf spot and after Anthracnose naman, you observe strict sanitation, you spray with recommended fungicides and use compost tea and tea manure. Or you, it's really necessary that you roach out virus infected plants or spray with tea manure or fermented plant juice to increase naman plant vigor and resistance. And to prepare compost tea, you just mix one cup compost uh, with one fourth cup molasses. So I guess this has been um, repetitively uh, presented. Now, after 80 to 100 days, you can harvest the mature green fruit. So you don't need to wait for the um, red colored fruit because this is a climacteric fruit and it can just ripen after harvest. Although they are pink green, but in mature stage, no? about three to six weeks after flowering or 80 to 100 days from transplanting. So after harvest, uh, you can sort fruits according to the market standards and separate the deformed and damaged fruits no? as, a, as a protocol in post-harvest. And these fresh fruits can be stored up to five weeks at four degrees Celsius and 95 relative humidity. So in that, in that instance, this can be um, stored longer no, in your shelves or in the market. So actually, there's a lot of, um, I know, sorry for that. So um, there's a lot of ways to preserve them no, in post-harvest. So how much do we need no access capital in the sweet pepper production? So um, the labor... Uh, would include uh, and, and variable costs and other costs in man, um, of production. Now, uh, we have a total of uh, 54,000. Know? And um, for the materials, we have 61,000, uh, a total of 115,000. With 15% contingency, uh, so additional 17,000 plus, we have a grand total expenses of 132,000 plus. But if you're going to um, sell your produce at 25 pesos per kilogram, and then you're going to harvest 10 to 15 tons per hectare, so you can actually have a gross income of 250,000 to 375,000. And less the expenses so you have a net income of 117 to 242,000 so actually malaki-laki din ang iyong ano um kikitain no so i guess that's all for sweet pepper production do you have questions or clarification for the next topic we're going to discuss tomato production so do you have any questions or clarification um let us proceed with um Video presentation. I don't know nga nang na, na annotate na ko. Wait lang. <laughs> Pwede i-undone eh. So ano siya ha? Ano ra? Undo, undo.
Sabi, hindi siya maando, no? Ah, hindi siguro ako nag-ano-ano. Anyway, um, do you have any questions or clarification? Anyone? Okay, so we can through actually proceed with um bell pepper production, but before that, let me just again have a screenshot. Okay. So let's have a look. May pagkakapahambing o may pagkakapareho din po ang uh, management uh, o technology ng, uh, ng uh, bell pepper sa siling pangsigang at uh, siling labuyo. Ang pagtatanim po ng uh, bell pepper ay pwede po tayong pumili kung ito po ay itatanim natin under sa greenhouse na meron pong variety na tumatagal ng lima hanggang anim na buwan. At yung pong mga hybrid na kung itatanim po natin sa open field na tumatagal po ng mga tatlong buwan. Sa pagpiprepare po ng uh, punla o ng uh, seedlings, uh, maghanda po tayo ng uh, magandang uh, pating medium o pit moss na tinatawag nating plasman TS3 para bigyan tayo ng malusog at mas maagap na panglipatanim. Pit moss na tinatawag maghanda po tayo ng... Uh, prepare po ng uh, punla o ng uh, seedlings uh, maghanda po tayo ng uh, magandang uh, pating medium o pit moss na tinatawag nating plasman TS3 para bigyan tayo ng malusog at mas maagap na panglipatanim pamula labing walo hanggang dalawampu't isang araw sa halip na tatlumpong araw bago natin ilipat ay mas nagiging maagang itanim Pulipatanim sa direktang uh, field. Sa paglilipat po sa, sa field, uh, kung ito man ay uh, lowland or midland or highland, na maglagay po tayo ng uh, 100 grams ng organikong pataba kada isang puno. At ang pagitan po ng, ng bawat puno ng bell pepper ay uh, 75 cm bawat uh, puno. At pagitan po ng tudling o ng rose ay 1 uh, meter. Pagkalipat tanim, pamula po ika-35 days, maglagay po tayo ng pinaghalong uh, complete fertilizer at saka urea, 30 gramo kada puno. Ihukay natin sa may malapit sa puno ng 3 inches para ito ay hindi mag-volatilize o mag kung umuulan man. Pwede rin po tayong gumamit ng ating makabagong uh, abono na agrocoat sa loob ng tatlo hanggang apat na buwan na buhay ng uh, bell pepper ay mayroong supply ng nutrient. Ito pong agrocoat 3800. Siya po ay slow release sa uh, fertilizer. At ang pang-maintain po sa bell pepper, blossom booster na Peters 94515 at ang Peters 151030. Ito po yung yield booster. Ang epekto po nito ay pampabintog ng bunga pampakapit at pampabigat. Kung meron pa pong uh, umaatake ng mga fungus o bacteria, meron po tayong organikong uh, uh, fungicide na tinatawag nating Nordox sa uh, 75 wettable granule. Ito po ay uh, copper base at uh, certified as organic. Kung ito man po ay i-harvest natin ng green, pamula pagkalipat tanim ay sa ika- 70 days. Pwede na po tayong umani. Kung tayo man po ay aani ng mag-harvest ng pula o hinog last 20 days, ay pwede po tayong mag-harvest ng tuwing ikatatlong araw o hanggang anim na araw. Depende po sa demand ng market kung ito man ay mataas o medyo mababa. Medyo masailan po itong harvest dahil uh, konting gasgas sa balat ay pwede itong ma-reject. May pagkakapa. Okay, so um, that is fully advertised na ano, parang production guide for bell pepper. 
and um, in the Philippines. No? And um, I also have another presentation, which is more um, advanced technology. Sandali lang, kay, di ko kasabot nga nung di ni mawala ng drawing. Uh-huh. Erase ko kaya. <laughs> Ayan, na erase. <laughs> sige, sige, okay na. So, let's take a, let's uh, have a look.
Okay, so I guess that's it. No, in on um, bell pepper production, and as you have seen, it's really very impressive. No, the modern greenhouse agricultural technology, and it's although it's from other countries. So, um, do you have any questions or clarification regarding our topic for this session about bell pepper production? Have you tried um, planting bell pepper? Mm -hmm. Gypsy, Dexter, and S S Stephen. Nakatry na mo? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And what can you say about um, the overall na ano pag alaga ng ng bell pepper uh, ano ma'am hindi uh, ko alam kung paano mag-alaga yung ng ano bell pepper kasi maraming insekto dumadapo ma'am yes yung kulay puti uh -huh. so yan saan mo on lang wala lang tanaw lang na to ma'am mamunga mga yapon pero gagmay um yeah so wala lang natural lang siya no yeah actually tama oh. ka no that's the main uh ano kanang stop ano challenges sa uh, bell pepper ang pag ang kanang mga insecto and pest diseases niya talaga no so um thank you for sharing how about gypsy do you have something to share or questions or clarification? Wala, ma'am. Okay, so hopefully you can try, no, even sa pat lang, someday, no, you still have a lot of time to do that. Um, but anyway, again, um, I hope um, you're done with your module. If not, um, please have time to finish it. And you can still submit anyway. So um, thank you for joining with me in this session. And I hope to see you again next meeting. So we have one last topic for the midterm module. And that is tomato production. So again, thank you and see you again next meeting. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am.